we're back. This is a new season. I'm Al Paranello, and, and this is Steve Steiner. Hello. You know all about us if you've been seeing, watching these uh, radios before. Well, here's the thing. This is the first show of the new season, the uh, 2024 season. And behind us is the set, the actual set of the, of, of the show. And the show is called Million Dollar Quartet. But you know what? Those of you who haven't been here in a while, when you come to Surf Life Theater to see this amazing show, you're going to see some other things that are amazing. You're going to see the theater newly, newly, uh, what did we give it a paint job? What do oh, we do? Oh, no, no, no. We put brand new Cedar Shake Show sightings on the entire theater and all of our uh, all of our buildings on Center Street as well. The show place ice cream parlor and our uh, uh, tech housing and all kinds. All I can say is that the place is as pretty as it's ever been. I mean, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. You're going to look at this thing and you're going to say, oh, I think we got out of the car at the wrong address because it's totally different. But anyway, that's that's just the beginning. But it's quite beautiful and we are very, very proud. So at any rate, we've got a show and behind us uh, is, is the set and, uh, and the show is called uh, Million Dollar Quartet. And I just got to tell you something, you know, I, when, when I originally purchased this theater uh, seven, eight years ago, this is, this is, this is the eighth year, um, the first season we did this show. I had never heard about it before, but all I can say is that it, it's a shocker. If you haven't seen it, uh, it, is, it is rather amazing. Um, you're going to see on stage, well, well let, me, let me have uh, Steve talk, talk about this. Who are the artists who are bringing, brought, we're bringing back to life here? Well, uh, the show is about an actual meeting uh, in 1956, December 4th, uh, of Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and Jerry Lee Lewis, who were all at one time Sun recording artists. This is Sun Studio in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, and that one night they all played together and uh, the show basically tells the story of that as well as the story of all these very young artists at that time, uh, at that early point in their career. Elvis had taken off within the last year, Johnny Cash had taken off within the last year, Carl Perkins uh, had had a hit, a giant hit, one number one hit on three different charts with blue suede shoes. Uh, but then uh, Elvis sang it on uh, the Ed Sullivan Show, and everybody thought that uh, it was Elvis's song, and Carl Perkins uh, sort of a had a li little it. chip on his shoulder <laughs> about that. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, Jerry Lee Lewis uh, was uh, only like 21 years old at the time. So now I'm not going to give the uh, store away here, but I want you to know that uh, <coughs> uh, first of all, keep in mind that this is one time only. They sat in this studio, Sun Studio. Um, that was it. They, they, you know, never worked together, never did anything together, never, you know, sang together. That was it. One time only in the studio. And something is going to happen at the end of the show. I think it's probably the greatest 20 seconds of the show. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, but you'll be incredibly impressed when you see it. And uh, when I say the end of the show, it's the end of the formal show. And then what happens after that is the group, <laughs> incredible players, by the way, and the voices are amazing. They sound just like the characters that they're, that they're uh, playing. Uh, but the, pl the, the, the instrumental that, that you're going to be witnessing after the show is completed, how many songs do they do after, the, after that? I mean, it's four. like a it, it's like a little concert. Four, one each, show. one for each of the. Uh, oh right, that's right, that's right. It's one for each of the main characters. So this is a unique show, and putting together a unique show like this means you need a unique producer. He's sitting next to me, <laughs> Steve. How do you find these people? How do you even begin the process of putting this thing together? Well, uh, there, there's a couple of things. Uh, the uh, the, <clears throat> the musician actor subgroup of actors in in the country uh, are are a small subset, and I've been part of that subset uh, really since uh, the early uh, 1990s uh, when I did the Buddy Holly story on Broadway. Uh, and uh, I've done a number of other shows like that, and I've also directed the Buddy Holly story, like 13 different productions, and, and I've done once and uh, several others. Uh.
That's the point. I mean, and, and when the audience out there, you got to think about, you know, they have to sort of look like the characters they're playing. They certainly have to sound like the characters, but they've got to have the temperament of, of, of the people. And uh, over here, you, can't, you probably can't see it, but there's a, a little piano. And the guy, uh, the guy that plays the piano, who, who is a Jerry Lee Lewis uh, impersonator, if you will, for the night, um, he's, I couldn't believe the stuff I was watching. We saw the show the other night. This guy actually plays piano with his feet, <laughs> with his toes. He, he, hits a, he hits a note, and for some reason, it's exactly the right note. Uh, I was incredibly impressed with the ensemble. I mean, but um, you're going to see some stuff that you, you're really going to be talking about for quite a while. This is a very, very, very special show. So but once again, only one night were they together. And this is what this show is all about. It is, uh, I can tell you, we're talking standing ovation after standing ovation. This is a wonderful show. Do not miss it. What are the dates, Steve? Uh, it's playing now through the 16th of uh, June. <clears throat> we have uh, matinees on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And evening shows, I, I'm doing this off the top of my head, I think it's Wednesday through Saturday. Yeah, don't miss it. It's that simple. Uh, so what else is going on here at Surf Life? Uh, well, What's uh, the next show? Well, South Pacific uh, is in rehearsal now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to that uh, coming in on the 19th. Uh, we also have a comedy night on the 24th. Joe Bublowitz and his cast of Zanies, who uh, are different every time, uh, will be here with, uh, his, uh, in uh, June. We also have uh, a comedy night on a Monday in July, one in August, and of course uh, the, uh, the one in November, which is a benefit, <coughs> excuse me, a benefit for the Beach Haven Firehouse. Uh, yeah, <coughs> and I, I, I gotta tell you, Surflight has really found comedy, and comedy is a big thing here. And uh, Steve is doing a great job putting together, you know, amazing, amazing talent in, in the form of comedy uh, as, as much as we possibly can. So I am very, very happy about that. I've got a comedy career, not me being a comic, but a producer of comics. Really? Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> my, my we also have uh, a star comedy night, which of course will be Mike Marino. He's here on a Sunday night, New Jersey's bad boy. Uh, and then we also, uh, because we want everybody to enjoy comedy, we have a family comedy, uh, comedy night with Taylor Mason, who spends most of his time on uh, Disney cruise ships uh, entertaining, but he always does one every year for us here. Uh, because uh, he really likes it, and frankly, he lives in Beach Haven, so it's a great thing for him to be able to play at home. And, and something else unique this year coming up, comedy dogs. Oh yeah, <laughs> well that's true. Uh, Puppy Pals is, uh, they've been on America's Got Talent, they are trained comedy stunt dogs, uh, and it's a great show we're doing, that's also good for the families. Uh, it's a one o'clock and a five o'clock on July 1st. Uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, they, uh, they're, it's just a, a wonderful thing. And the other thing about the, the, the comedy dogs uh, and uh, the, uh, the puppy pals is that they were all rescues. So that's a, it's a great thing. So that's it for this particular uh, segment. And, um, but keep watching. And by the way, the, the, the Alan Steve show gets bigger and bigger every year. Thank you so much, folks, and uh, we will see you next time. And uh, next time we'll be talking about, oh, that old show called? South Pacific. E I mean, that's a, that's a gem. And we're it gonna, is. We're going to have a gem. You're, you're actually bringing the ocean here? Uh, the ocean is already here. It's just right down the street. That's right. It's just so, a different ocean. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time. Be well.